And in this video, I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Um, this is with my own bees. Plan today is to have a look at my colonies and share that experience with you. So first thing to do, get the smoker going and uh, head up to the apiary. This one is a national cedar hive with a standard brood and three supers, two of which are quite full. They are spaced roughly by eye. Uh, I have got spacers and I have used them before. Um, but I've got in here, um, you're probably expecting to see 11 frames or 12 frames, but no, this in here is a thing of uh, construction, mainly by the bees. It's the bees' own work. I haven't really sort of um, played around with this too much. Once these frames are actually um, drawn out and sealed and all the rest of it, then I will actually take them out, cut the uh, comb out, mash it up, put it through a double strainer, pop it into either a bucket, um, let it settle and then jar it up. So I'm going to take these off, move them aside and let's have a look in the brood. So this next one is a new-ish frame and I kind of want to see a new frame. Look at that. Look at that. Sealed stores. I mean they've made worker brood. These are all worker cells. Can you see that? We've got drones on there feeding themselves. We know that drones feed themselves after uh, once they're mature enough. And on the other side again it's you can see here where it's been uh, hopefully if it's not too overexposed you can see uh, where it's uh, been drawn out from on the uh, edge of the uh, comb there or the frame I should say and they've drawn it down but a beautiful structure really clean nice clean wax and like I say, I like to put new ones in. You can see I've put a few new ones in here recently and they'll all be similar. So another one there, uh, we've got a lot of drones on there, but look at those stores. Look at that, that, that honey on the top, isn't that amazing? And you can see the difference. Can you see how the color of the comb changes here? Because they've drawn out new wax onto the old wax because they can draw out um, honey um, stores um, up to and leave one bee space between the, the, the two surfaces on each side. Whereas brood, we know they prefer two bee, uh, two bee spaces. Another new frame, nice new frame here. And again, look at what they're doing. They're bringing in more nectar, uh, really, really nice. And again, they're going a little bit off off uh, track here on this side as you can see um, but all you have to do literally is just scoot the bees out of the way the reason they're attracted to that point is because it's pulled away from one of the other frames but if I just do that and set it right and again same on this side just literally it's soft wax so just push it away and put it back it's all you've got to do and the bees will continue to draw downwards the key the other key is to make sure your, your hive is, is level now you can see on this one where they were making queen cells on the very end or bottom of this frame here um, you can see those queen cells there where they were trying to but look at the stores that are coming in they're just packing this with stores at the moment I'll show you the queen cell where uh, she had emerged from there it is you can see it's been now being sort of chewed away, but I'm pretty sure she successfully emerged from that particular cell. Some drones uh, with their heads poking out and they're trying to, trying to come out. Hopefully you can see that. So another new frame. As you can see, nicely drawn. Again, drones on there. And stores, look at that. More stores coming in and they're capping the top as well. It's a really nice colony. They're really quite pleasant bees. I'm not sure if we've got a queen in here. I'm sort of getting more and becoming more and more skeptical as I go through. This is a really heavy frame. Loads and loads of new nectar coming in. They're capping it off as well. Now these queen cells, I don't know if your camera's picking these up, I'm going to lean it on my suit here for a moment. I don't know if you can see there. This queen cell has got a hole in the side of it here. Now this could 
this has been destroyed not by me so it's quite possible um, that for whatever reason they've you know it's another indicator that they've probably got a queen and keeping bees like this in these situations where you get these anomalies these odd things happening you know is there a queen is there not a queen is what keeps it interesting not worrying about this particular hive at the moment don't think there's anything to really panic about um, even though um, it's in a state that isn't tenable it can't stay queenless um, but who's to say it absolutely is and this one there's evidence of a queen cell that has emerged remember and we've got some that have been destroyed so with a bit of luck fingers crossed we've got ourselves a virgin queen running around the place.